What's up, y'all? What it do? You do? Hey, man, now look. Today we reacting to how rappers spent their first check. Did they get that Bentley or did they get that Lamb? How y'all spending y'all first check when y'all blow up? Y'all let me know down below in the comments. But I'm ready to get straight into this video. Let's get it, man. Let's go. You won't believe what your favorite rappers did with their first checks. From buying a pet tiger to unbelievably expensive. I ain't gonna lie, my first check though, a tiger is crazy. Maybe a jetpack though. Jetpacks That's a smart idea. Seven hundred thousand dollars. This is how most rappers spent their first paycheck. First, we got NBA YoungBoy. YoungBoy never broke again is a new generational rapper that burst into the limelight in 2015. He started from the bottom. Hey, if you watching, you gotta like this video, bro. If you listen to YoungBoy, if you ever heard a YoungBoy song, you gotta like this video. Producing like music that. with a microphone he bought from Walmart when he was only 14 years old. Even though YoungBoy was That's what's up. on a budget, his hustle paid off. And in 2017, he was offered a record deal from Atlantic Records. When he got hey, his this first beat check, going crazy. <laughs> He cashed out on a baby tiger that costed him seven thousand five hundred dollars for a baby tiger I, I ain't gonna lie i thought tigers was worth way more than that i thought like a hundred bands for a baby tiger i'm not sure why young boy just didn't take the trip to the zoo but we do have sad news after fans seeing young boy with the pet tiger everybody started going crazy because it's not just every day where you see somebody with a pet tiger beside their feet with that, yeah, that is said, tough. the city of louisiana contacted young boy and told him that he had to get rid of the tiger so the i ain't allowed the way that he holding his tiger up to his neck you would have thought he won an nba trophy bro the clock started like, damn. For young boy until he finally found somebody to buy the tiger that somebody turned out to be the biggest boss rick, rick ross. ross but rick ross had enough he couldn't resist the urge to eat it so he had to get rid of it nah i'm just kidding i want no bro come on <laughs> why do they be clowning rick ross like why that he just didn't do something smart like let's say buy your mama house because that's exactly what our next rapper on the list did trippy red rose to that's cool though the era of hey that's that's respectable bro Buying him on my house, that's respectable, at least for a first right. check. And from there, he got signed to Strange Entertainment, now known as Elliot Grange Entertainment. When he got his first paycheck, he bought his mom a $300,000 home in that's Canton, cool. Ohio. Who the hell lives in Ohio? Nah, I'm joking. I'm just a proud hater. But I'm not the only one who sipped a haterade. The most controversial rapper in the world, Takashi69. Hey, like this video if that's not your favorite rapper. I mean, it ain't no smoke, no, you know what I'm you know, it don't matter. I have to downplay but. my guy Trippy, saying that he didn't buy no house for his mom. It said that he bought the it. beef they used to have back in 2017, I think. Crazy. An apartment instead, but Trippy mom wasn't having that. She came in and shut it all down. She said it was no cap in her son's rap, and she did indeed receive a house. No so take that, snitch, cap. <laughs> Bruh, I think it was a video of him getting beat up in the gym, but y'all can search that up. You was lacking, big homie. Hundred K is nothing to Trippy Red, especially he a when he's worth the seven million dollars. This next rapper is regarded as one For of sure. the most influential rap Luane. rappers on the rap scene, and what he did with his first check probably influenced younger rappers like Trippy Red. Because in 1995, rapper Lil Wayne was only 12 years old when Birdman signed him to Cash Money Records. Damn. And not to mention, hold. 12 years old? Damn, can I get a record deal? I think I'm past due. Y'all want to hear me spit? Birdman signed him to Cash Money Records. And not to mention, he was the youngest member of the label. Lil Doogie, as he was known as at the time, got his first paycheck of $6,500 and offered it all to his mother. Surprisingly, oh, that's cool. his mother didn't even want a penny of it. She just let him do whatever he wanted. So, Wayne did what any other child would have did in his situation. He went and bought a toy, but not just any toy. Wayne went sure. to his dealership and copped the Nissan Pathfinder. Like, what is he gonna do with a car at that age? Oh, that's right. Wayne was just flexing because he wasn't even old enough at to 12. drive it yet. Yeah, in Louisiana at the time, you had to be at least 15 years old to drive a car. And well, Wayne was only 14 years old. That's a crazy. With the hoodie did something not so different from Lil Wayne. That this is y'all listen to a boogie, bro. If any of your rappers pop up, bro, you just gotta like the video, just like that. You swear it on it. Remember that. Hey, yeah. He was born the same year Lil Wayne started his career, and like NBA YoungBoy, he signed to Atlantic Records. 
and when all those zeros hit his bank account he gave majority of the money to his parents but don't get it twisted Facts. he did treat himself going on a shopping spree buying a chain and what he had left over he invested it into personal essentials but cardi b wasn't thinking about nobody but her mouth because when she got her That's first tough. paycheck she bought a new set of teeth with how much some joints cost her back two thousand dollars damn two thousand dollars for some tea I was saying that's sixty four thousand dollars worth of teeth. Now, if she Tough. paying that much for some teeth, it better come with a massage and some AirPods. Cardi B, who is known for her aggressive flow, AirPods and is crazy. Lyrics, gained popularity through the Vine and Instagram app. She's the only female artist to win a Grammy Award for the best rap album as a solo artist. So oh, I guess tough. she do deserve to have those pearly whites in her mouth. However, Cardi B is not the only rapper that likes to care about how they look. Yeah, rapper G Herbo from Chicago. Started his music career. Bruh, first G Herbo song I heard is I'm rolling, 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 I'm rolling. Several mixtapes dated all the way back to 2014. But in 2017, he made his first major release with Epic Records. He spent about $30,000 on clothes and didn't stop there. Damn. He said he was buying a new outfit every day. I mean, how many clothes does a guy need? One for every day of the week. Different now, fit of the day. That was ridiculous. It I mean, is different crazy. fit every year. Slim Jimmy from Ray Trimmer didn't do anything tangible with his first check. Slim Jimmy is the oldest of the two brothers. The duo signed to Mike Will made his ear drummer's imprint in 2013. And they did some impressive things. What they do, Their what they do, what they do. Was certified platinum by the RIAA. So oh, yeah. Slim Jimmy took this opportunity to celebrate. And by celebrate, I mean blow your money on nothing. Yeah. Slim Jimmy How you blow your money on nothing? Committed to blowing his first paycheck on purpose. Why? Because apparently he was a sidekick and he knew he was gonna make the money back. And that he did. Because so far, the yeah. brothers have been nominated for seven BET awards and they've won one. And they also it's have lit. multiple hits. So I guess Jimmy was right to bet on himself. 50 Cent is not just a rapper. He is also a businessman. And when we say business, oh yeah, we mean business. Because when 50 got his first check, he spent it in a way that nobody could even think of. How my boy is 50 spent his check, bro? Get straight to it. Yeah, there was a crazy rumor back in the day that said that 50 invested his money into his drug business, which technically it paid off. I ain't gonna say too much. Nah, I'm cool though. I'm cool off gravy. But I would say, uh, young man, that's a smart idea, <laughs> my guy. Don't do drugs, guys, because if you do, it'll have you at the bowling alley with your family. That's exactly what rapper what? Lil Nas X did. You got There's nothing wrong with going to the bowling alley with him. your family. That's your first paycheck, and you ain't even go buy no jewelry, no cars, no clothes. What a good guy. But what Lil Uzi did was insane. He spent the bag on a first date with his rapper girlfriend from the City Girls, JT. He pulled up on her with a load of cash, told her to fit as much as she could in her purse, and she could only That's fit 30000 Now, you would think it would stop there, but nah, Uzi had to turn it up. He Uzi got that bag. Ain't no way you bought her a double R. Decided to blow another bag on her at the Louis Vuitton store. And then he had the nerve to take her out for a Taco Bell dinner. Nah, buddy, we saw what you did. But that's not even exactly <laughs> what Lil Uzi spent his first check on. Although it's more meaningful than the $700,000 Uzi spent on a jetpack. Now that's just weird. Like how Post Malone is weirdly unique. So it's only normal that his taste would be different from the other rappers. He signed his first deal with Republic Records. And I ain't gonna lie though, that one uh, armor truck that Lil Uzi got, bruh, I would cop, I would cop that, bruh. I'd be walking around, or I'd be driving around the city just <sighs> big body. When he got his first paycheck, he splurged on a gaming setup with surround sound speakers and multiple widescreen monitors. Hey, Bro, that's a, a good gamer, investment. Gamer. gamer. But this next rapper didn't play no games at all. Lil Reese rose to fame with rappers like Chief Keef, Fredo Santana, Chief Key. and Lil Dirt. He caught the attention of No ID, a producer who produced for big names like Kanye, Common, and was also signed to Def Jam. When Lil Reese got his first paycheck, he bought 12 cars. So him and... Nigga. 12? Not one, not two, not three. Twelve. 
and the homeboys can go slide on the ops. Now that's a crazy story to tell one day, which leads us to our last rapper. King Von bought himself a chain with his first paycheck, but not before he gave his mother $10,000 and a few of his homies $10,000. Oh, sure. Keep in mind, his first paycheck was only $100,000. And after buying his chain, bruh, that's a real homie, bruh. If they can't break bread, they fake. Cause like you only got a hundred bands and you giving each your people ten. Salute. And making sure everybody was straight around him. King Von couldn't even remember what he spent the last little bit of his first check on. What I do with that other shit? I hope you put it in a bank account. <laughs> nah, all that he shit. spent it all. <laughs> That's but that's okay. The first paycheck is only first of many. There's always more cash to throw around. True. Like that one time Lil Uzi bought a planet. Yeah, you heard that right. Click the video on the screen right now. To Bruh. Uzi did buy a planet. Anyways, y'all boys, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Roll to 10K. Let's get it, man. Let's go.